Hi everybody, here's my giraffe. G4 giraffe. Nom nom nom, eating leaves. Nom 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 nom. And this is U4 unicorn. Nay! This is D4 duck. Quack quack. And this is S for shark. Whoa! Hey Ryan, what you doing? Hey Congo, I'm thinking of all the alphabet letters for animals. But so far I only have four. Can you help me? Of course! I know a thing or two about animals, being that I am one myself. I'll also gather the best animals I know to help me. Okay, Congo. Welcome to Ryan's world! A is for alligator, like me! Alligators have between 74 and 80 teeth in their jaws at any given time. An alligator can go through over 2,000 teeth in its lifetime. Alligators can grow between 8 and 10 feet long. I guess I'm still growing. B is for butterflies. Butterflies camouflage themselves into their environment to keep them from being eaten. They also have taste receptors on their feet to help them find their host plants and locate food. That's so weird. C is for chameleon. A chameleon's skin changes colors in response to its emotions, such as anger or fear, changes in light, temperature, or humidity. They can move their eyes separately, with each eye having a field of 180 degrees. D is for dolphin. Dolphins are mammals just like we are. Dolphins breathe air, give birth to live young, and are warm-blooded. Bottlenose dolphins have 72 to 104 teeth, but they don't use them to chew. Instead, they trap food in their mouths and swallow it whole. E is for elephant. Elephants are the world's largest land animal. Elephant tusks never stop growing, so enormous tusks can be a sign of an old elephant. They also use their trunk to eat. F is for flamingo. Flamingo's pink color comes from beta carotene in the crustaceans and plankton that flamingos eat. Flamingos feed by reaching down to scoop up a beak full of mud and water. Their beaks are designed to strain animals out of the mud, and the muddy water is drained out. G is for gill. Oh, yeah. Oh, I mean, it's for giraffe. Giraffes are the world's tallest living land animals. An adult male can grow to be taller than three adult humans. They have really long tongues that help them reach hard to get foods. H is for hippopotamus. Despite their enormous size, hippos are great swimmers and can hold their breath for up to five minutes underwater. When completely submerged, their ears and nostrils fold shut to keep water out. Despite having such large mouths, Hippos are herbivores. Grass is their favorite. I is for iguana. Iguana is a type of lizard that lives in tropical areas of Central and South America and the Caribbean. Iguanas have excellent vision. They can see long distances, shapes, shadows, color, and movement. J is for jellyfish. Jellyfish have no bones. Their bodies can be up to 98% water. Although they are cute, a jellyfish sting is really painful, so don't go near them. K is for kangaroo. Kangaroos hop to cover large distances. Some kangaroos can hop up to 25 feet. That's really long. Kangaroo mothers use their pouch to carry their offspring, known as Joey's! L is for lion. Often known as the king of the jungle, most lions actually live in the savanna or grasslands. Lions usually live in groups of 10 or 15 animals called prides. M is for monkey. Monkeys are very social creatures. Monkeys express affection and make peace with others by grooming each other. K 
capuchin monkeys like this one are considered the most intelligent of the species. N is for Newt. Newts have the ability to regenerate limbs, eyes, spinal cords, hearts, intestines, and upper and lower jaws. O is for Ostrich. The flightless ostrich is the world's largest bird. They have not one, not two, but three stomachs. The giant eggs are the largest of any living bird at 15 centimeters long and weighing as much as two dozen chicken eggs. P is for parrot. With over 350 species of parrots, they come in many shapes and sizes. But most of us love their beautiful colored feathers. Parrots have the ability to mimic human speech and are often a favorite pet. Q is for quail. Quails are small, plump birds with brown to bluish gray feathers. They can lay 10 to 20 eggs at one time. That's a lot of eggs. R is for rhino. Rhinos are huge. They can weigh over 1,000 pounds. This is mighty oppressive considering they mainly eat grass and leaves. Some species of rhinos are thought to be critically endangered, which means there's not many of them left. S is for shark. Did you know that a shark never runs out of teeth? They can have 5 to 15 rows of teeth arranged in layers. They also don't have any bones. Their skeleton is made up of cartilage. T is for tiger. Tigers are carnivorous. They are quiet, patient hunters with large, powerful paws and teeth to help them catch and eat their prey. Their unique orange, black, and white striped pattern helps them blend into the forest and grassy areas where they live and hunt. U is for unicorn. Hey, that's not a real animal. Oh man, the letter U is hard. Can you help me, please? What about urchin? That's a good one. Thank you, Pack. A sea urchin is ball-shaped with long, pointy, and movable spines all over its body. Sea urchins usually live on ocean seabeds in warm waters. They're also known as sea hedgehogs because of how they look. V is for Varanus. Varanus is a type of monitor lizard. They are considered to be the most intelligent of all the lizards and some of the most intelligent reptiles in general. Sorry, Gus. Oh, man. W is for whale. The whale is the largest animal that ever lived. Whales are known to sing to communicate. Whales are very social. They move in groups called pods. X is for x-ray fish. How cool! These fish are transparent, which means you can see through them. Their transparent skin is thought to be a form of protection. Y is for yak. The yak is relative to the cow. Most yaks are domestic, which means they live on farms run by people. Their thick woolly coats protect them in temperatures lower than negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit. Z is for zebra. Zebras have unique stripes that help identify each zebra. These cool creatures are herbivores and spend most of their day eating grass and sometimes leaves, shrubs, twigs, and bark too. Yay, we did it! One animal for every letter in the alphabet. Ha, <laughs> back to you, Ryan. Wow. Thanks guys, I didn't even know some of these animals existed. I learned a lot about animals and the alphabet. I hope you did too. Thank you for watching. Remember, always stay happy and rise up. Bye. Doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo, doo -doo.